Hello everyone, in this video we are going to construct a heat map to visualize the sales of various types of books at different stores using R and then we summarize our results. On the screen you see a data file for a bookstore chain. This bookstore chain is trying to understand customer preferences at various store locations. The marketing department has acquired a list of 500 of the most recent transactions from four of its stores. The dataset includes the record number, which one of its four stores sold the book, and the type of book sold. The marketing department wants to visualize the data using a heat map to help it understand customer preferences at different stores. So first we are going to set our working directory. And then we are going to import the bookstore data into a data frame and label it my data. My data is equal to read.csv. And then control enter. Now you can see under environment pane I have my data data frame with 500 observations and three variables. We first use the table function to create a contingency table and labeled my table that summarizes the number of each type of book sold at each store. We then use the row sums function to retrieve the total number of books sold at each store and divide the values in the contingency table by those numbers to get a modified contingency table that summarizes each type of book sold as a percentage of all books sold at each store. So let's type my table is equal to table in the parentheses my data bookstore variable and then my data book type and then control enter. Now we have here my table under environments pane and then my table is equal to my table divided by row sums my table. So with row sums function we want to retrieve the total number of books sold at each store and divide the values in the contingency table by those numbers to get a modified contingency table that is composed of percentages instead of numbers. So control enter. View my table Control enter. Now you can see here frequency represents the percentages. In order to construct a heat map in R, the data must be converted into a data matrix, which is a two dimensional data structure whose columns must have the same data type and length. We use the s.matrix function to make this conversion and label the data matrix as mydata.matrix. Mydata.matrix is equal to as matrix my tape and control enter. We use the heat map function to construct the heat map. We choose the heat color palette with 256 colors using call option. Call option is equal to heat.colors in the parentheses 256. By default the color palette uses warm colors, orange and red for instance, to show smaller values and cool colors, yellow and white, to show the larger values. We use the scale option is equal to none to ensure that the data are not standardized when used to plot the heat map. Finally, we use row v is equal to na and call v is equal to na to suppress a tree-like diagram called a dendogram. So let's type heat map and then in the parentheses my data dot matrix and we use the option call to determine the colors heat dot colors 256 and then comma scale scale is equal to none next row v is equal to na and next call v is equal to na and then control enter so you can see the heat map under plots pane alternatively we can specify our own colors so that less popular book genres have cooler colors and the more popular genres have warmer colors because the most popular genre accounts for 25.22 percent of the book sales at the store we create a vector my breaks that contains numbers from zero zero percentage 
to 0.3, 30 percentage, with increments of 0.05 or 5 percentage. The color assigned to each number interval is stored in the vector my call. For example, if the book genre accounts for 0 to 5 percent of the book sales at the store, the color blue will be assigned to that genre. Alternatively, if the book genre accounts for 25 percent to 30 percent of the book sales at the store, a warm red color coded red 3 will be assigned. We then assign our own color key using call and breaks options for the new heat map. So let's create my breaks is equal to C 0 0 0.05 0 0.10 0 0.15 0 0.20 0 0.25 0 0.30 0 0.30 control enter my call is equal to C blue green yellow orange one red one and red three and control enter now we can type heat map function my data dot matrix Colors, this time is going to be my colors, my call. Breaks, my breaks. Scale is equal to none. And then row V is equal to NA. Because we don't want the endogram, call V is equal to NA. And then control enter. So let's look at our heat map. Our heat map is now under plots pane. This heat map reveals that customers' book preferences do differ across different store locations. For example, romance are the most popular books sold at store 2, but the least popular at store 3. Self-help books are the least popular at store 1. The management can use this information to make decisions about how many copies of each type of book to stock at each store. This is how we construct a heat map to visualize the data. Thank you for watching.